we go. Good morning, everyone. Let's try that again. Cheers. Cheers. I'm having Santa cats. I'm having a polar bear. And I have a devil cat on my lap. Very disappointing tea in it. Mm. We were cleaning uh, counters for cookie day and found a couple teas that we had forgotten we had. And we're like, do we like this? We opened it, but we never really uh, finished drinking it. Um, so this is Buddha Blend by David's Tea and uh, don't like it. That's why it was sitting in a hole in the counter. Yeah. Tabitha's tail sets a low. However, it's warm going down and um, it's quite chilly in this room. Yes, it is. Hi, babe. So, um, I'm Helen. I'm Mary Beth. Welcome to Toad TV. And we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. You see Tabitha's tail and ears going back and forth. We have Drusilla right down here, Spike over there. It's a party going mm. on here, let me tell you. Just need Dudley. Yeah. And, uh... A lot of bodies in a very small space right here. Everybody's right on top of each other. <laughs> Do you know why? It's all about the cookie ice. <laughs> so we made cookies yesterday. Um, we made ginger snaps, which are good, but not what we remembered. Yeah, we, we want we, ginger we, cookies, not ginger snaps. We did the wrong recipe. <laughs> right. So. And then we made blueberry lemon drops, which were a new to us cookie. It was from an old, we are suckers for the Better Homes and Gardens best of, you know, Christmas cookie magazine that comes out every year with the same cookie recipes in it every year. And we have a stack. Yep. Um, they change one or two every but, year. But this was back from 2013 and that is a good cookie. Yes, it is. I have cat hair now right by this side of my mouth. This is a very, very good cookie. This is an addictive cookie yeah oh yeah um it's got um coconut which i know turns some people off um and blueberries lots of lemon lots of yeah lots of lemon and lemon uh confectioner icing right um however we are uh we have we did, we did a blog post yes and the recipe is on the blog post so, so it's all ready for you the, so if you the want ginger to cookie we didn't do because that didn't that didn't hit the uh it, it I gave park. it two sticks of butter, the lemon oh, blueberry, okay. the blueberry lemon drops got the full five sticks of butter. Okay. Mary Beth wrote the blog post and <laughs> Helen hasn't read it yet. So rating system, five sticks of butter is good. Okay. Um, so the, the blueberry lemon drops got five sticks. So did you put the, uh, the recipe according to the magazine or did you make the change on the butter? No, I did it according to the magazine. Okay, so the, the uh, recipe calls for half butter, half shortening, um, and we had butter. Okay, so ours spread a lot. And it's a very soft cookie. So we were thinking that probably if we had had the shortening and used the shortening, um, it probably would have held the form a little bit better and been more of a cookie. Right. It's kind of a cake cookie it's right still, now. It's very, still divine. And um, we are butter snobs, so generally when it calls for shortening, shortening we put butter in. But every so often you realize that, ha, huh, there was probably a reason for that. Right. Um, I did make a note that um, it says for the icing to take a cup of confectioner's sugar and a tablespoon of lemon juice and then add more lemon juice as you need it. I needed a full two tablespoons of lemon juice to get the consistency that they were talking about for the icing. Um, and also I needed twice as much icing as the recipe originally called for. So, and we didn't, it, the recipe called that it would make about 32 cookies and we made 36. So it okay. wasn't that we made more cookies right. than they had called for. And so. it was, I don't think I over iced them. No, I, no, not um, at all. It may be that my first batch wasn't as thin as um, it was supposed to be. And um, so it didn't spread as right. evenly. So it clumped a little bit. Well, not clumped, but um, there's a little bit more in some spots. Yeah. Um, but... They are really, really, really good cookies. Highly recommend. Yes. So those, those even with out of season blueberries, because we got fresh blueberries. Yeah. So we have two cookie uh, doughs that are in the fridge because they cooled overnight. We have one that are chocolate crinkles, which are going to go into the oven almost immediately. And, and that then, takes a lot of chocolate. 
because that took almost two full bars of the unsweetened chocolate, uh, the semi-sweet chocolate, and then cocoa. So I'm really interested to see how these are okay. going. Okay. All right. And um, then we have the rollout cookies for icing. Do you using the yeah. the gel uh, or using the colored icing to do? So that is what we are going to work on today because we figure cooking with uh, chocolate ones while we're rolling out the others and then after the other ones cool, we'll ice them. Yeah. But while they're cooling, we have something to keep us occupied because we went and got a Christmas tree yesterday. <laughs> so we have to put the tree up. Um, for some reason, I don't know why, Nobody has Christmas trees. Have you guys noticed that? We used to have it that there would be Christmas tree lots all over the place. Yeah, anywhere where there was a big... Um, Supermarket chain. Yeah, like a, a strip mall kind of thing. They always take up... A, uh, here, they always take up a piece of the parking lot and they have a Christmas tree lot. Right. Um, any kind of like a vacant uh, area, they'll throw up a Christmas tree lot. Sort of like how the Spirit Halloween comes into the vacant stores. Right. They, they take part of the parking lot and turn it into a Christmas tree lot. Um, we haven't got any this year. No. Walmart doesn't have trees. Walmart's garden center usually has trees. Home Depot and Lowe's have limited garden, number of trees. Garden centers usually are full of trees. They don't have a ton. And We our, always get ours from one of the local fire departments because it's one of their fundraisers right. during the year. And we figure the fire departments down here are all volunteer. So... Anything we can do to help. Yeah. If Beach Haven would do it, we would definitely give them our money, but they don't. So we do either so ship we bottom the or surf city, city instead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we do either ship bottom or surf city instead. Yeah. Um, but ship bottom sold out in four days. Four days. And they usually have them through the season. Right. And they get they get more because I know. Uh, I think it was last year they ran out, but then they got another sh shipment in. Right. This time, like, they, were done. I mean, they were late getting them because they usually have them the weekend after Thanksgiving. Um, but this year, they didn't get them until December 4th, and by December 8th, they were gone. They had maybe two trees left. And then Surf City, we went a little bit further up the island. We went yesterday, which was the 10th, and they had maybe eight trees left. And they had put something up saying earlier in the day that they were out selling the trees but they only had about 14 left yeah like all right well we're getting our tree today um so, so the great thing about it they deliver the oh tree. my god <gasps> if you guys have seen the toadster it's a little kia soul it's very small trying to get it is not made for transporting christmas trees <laughs> christmas trees will not go inside it period and full but, stop so. but we have a tree, yeah. a live tree. So uh, we will bring it up and put it up. And then um, while the cookies are cooling, we will be putting on the lights because yeah. that's always fun. Um, do you want to do your present? Sure. I was saying to Drusilla today that it's going to be very sad on Thursday when I have no more presents. To <laughs> today is number 10. I can't believe you haven't picked the big box yet. And it's not that I'm... Um, yeah. I, I thought maybe you had pulled it out and it was for uh, Wednesday. Oh, no, 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 no. It's Tim Holtz. I can tell that much. It was lots of Tim Holtz. Stencils. So we have clock stencils. Ooh. Music notes. Oh, I'm just gonna go to my journal today, cause you know Christmas trees, and we got a Christmas tree yesterday. So go use my Christmas trees. Ooh, I thought that one was so pretty. And this works for today too, because I have seen two shooting stars this week. We did not see the Northern Lights yesterday, but I have seen two shooting stars. This week. We saw in the news that. Uh, Ele um, parts of New Jersey, like up North Jersey, higher I'm, elevations. Yeah, I mean, I'm not delusional. Like, I think I can see the Northern Lights in New Jersey. <laughs> but um, there's a solar flare going so that um, if you're up high enough, you're not going to see the Northern Lights, but you're going to see a green glow, especially when it's clear. It was so clear last night. It was an absolutely gorgeous walk, but yeah. um, we are too far south and too... We, we, we are, are not... <laughs> <laughs> we are not high elevation. No. 
anyway, with the stencils, um, what you can do, because some people who aren't into paper might oh, not okay. realize what you do with it. What you can do is you can, if you take a plain piece of paper and you take um, either an ink spray or um, an ink pad with, um, you take the ink from an ink pad and dab it over. When you, if you do it over the stencil, when you lift it up, only the stars will be on yeah. your paper or only the music notes will be on your paper. So um, it's a nice way of adding a layer of color and texture. And I know people are using them with the, the jelly plates and then you get the reverse. Okay. So instead of getting um, what you would with the stencil, you know, the, the when you're using your ink on it, you're going to get the negative space in the stencil. But if you put it on the jelly plate, you get the, the positive the actual stencil. Okay. So um, I thought they'd be fun to play with. Oh, absolutely. You know, so very cool. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Um, we have gotten quite a few comments about people who want me to adopt them. I'm I'm sorry. Oh, and I had we had so many offers yesterday on Instagram for people to wash our dishes. <laughs> there were a lot of dishes yesterday, and you know, pandemic or no, if you were close, I was going to call you. <laughs> right. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing next year for her birthday because I'm not sure I can top this. But it's a once in a lifetime <laughs> day. Okay, for our advent calendar, our yarn advent calendar today is the 11th, and. The our, um, yarn is Christmas Traditions. So this is a purple that is all speckled with colors. And that is Christmas Traditions. It's going to be beautiful going in my blanket. Yeah. That I have done almost nothing on. Our fabric advent calendar. This is from Let Nature Sing, right? Yeah. This is from the Let Nature Sing collection. Um, this is definitely one of the Christmassy ones. It's a dark forest and the little pops of red are cardinals and the little brown bits are stag's heads. I love the colors in this. Yeah. That's gorgeous. Very, very holiday. Yeah. So that's the fabric for today. All right. Talk about your shawl first. Oh, okay. I'm wearing um, the Magic Springs shawl. Um, it's a free pattern by Katerina Bobkova. Um, it is the perfect beginner shawl. It is a tremendous amount of garter and then sections of uh, yarn over eyelets. Thank you, Drusilla. Yeah. If you're looking for, you know, a TV knit or something like that. You pick three colors that go together and you get the, my favorite shape, the asymmetrical. Which all, I'm pretty sure I started here. There's this color again. What is that? I don't know, <laughs> but it's in my starting point too. I have. No, I was looking at it, I'm like, what is this color? It was one of the flowers. If somebody remembers what this color name was, please What is this? This is beautiful. It's very Emma-ish, but it's not Emma because it predates Emma. Besides, it's got blue in it, and yeah. it doesn't have blue. Was this the original Blowing Bubbles? No, no, no. Blowing Bubbles was more blue. This isn't Mrs. Who. No, it's way before that. I don't know what this is either. I don't know what any of these colors are. I'm pretty sure this is Poison Pokeweed. Because this is part of a pair of socks that I have. Okay. No, maybe not, because I think my socks are more of a brighter color. I don't know. Anyway, it's a great shawl. Very fast knit. Um, I love wearing it. It's perfect in here because it's chilly, but it's light. And it's not, there's not uh, too much build up here. Mm -hmm. So, um... And you get a nice long tail, so it stays on your shawl. Yeah, that's um, nice. So, uh, that's my shawl. Okay. Also, um, we got a couple of questions as far as the um, mistake yarn and comments about the mistake yarn. Thank you very much to everybody who said it was beautiful. Um, we, we do think it's beautiful. It's just not what we wanted. Um, so, it is on sale right now on the shop. It is up for sale. Whatever is there, that is it. We did get somebody asking what we do with our mistakes, whether we die over them. 
which we have done before. Uh, Dementor's Kiss is a perfect example. Yeah. Um, or um, do we put them on a discount and sell them? We normally do not. We usually just put them up as one of kinds, and you guys are always really good about just coming through and buying them. Yeah, and sometimes um, we um, break them down and they go into uh, random mini sets. Right. Um, so we it's do a, any number of things. It's not that... Um, Except for when we first started dyeing, I don't think we have ever dyed an ugly skein of yarn. Right. We have dyed mistakes. Right. That are pretty, but not what they were meant to be and will not be dyed again. Or a dye broke and we can never repeat it. Right. Um, so, yeah. Also, we had uh, somebody asked a question about um, the skein that we showed on Wednesday. Um, mistaken Identity is one of the... Um, Advent colors, and she said she would love to see that in a full size skein. Stay tuned. Many of our full our Advent colors actually do wind up as full size skeins. Our first Advent, four of the first twelve days of Christmas turned into our, or actually five of them turned into our Narnia series, and some of those are still in rotation. Yeah. So that um, I mean, Advent for us as dyers, it's a uh, we're just testing out. Yeah, new color ideas. Playing around yeah. with stuff. And if we really love it, we keep a note of it and bring it back in as something else in the full size. Right. It may be tweaked a little bit, but um, sometimes it's exactly as we started because it just looks that good. Yeah. All right. I think that is it as far as questions and comments. Um, there is a very large fat squirrel sitting out there. That's on not food either. The railing of the back porch. He is looking for goldfish, I'm pretty sure. He keeps picking up the Christmas lights, and we would prefer it if he didn't eat them. I think that does it. Have a great weekend, everybody. Yes, have a great weekend. Go forth and create. And we will see you on Monday. Goodbye, everybody. Have a great weekend. Bye. <laughs>